This video shows how to fine tune and use Coin3 30 billion mixture of expert model on your own custom dataset, all local, all free. If you want to tap into state of the art AI capabilities of this model from your own system, stick around to find out how. I am Fahad Birza and I welcome you to the channel. The tool which I am going to use for fine tuning is this Unsloth. I will be showing you step by step instructions from scratch how to install everything and then we will go from there to download our model and data set and then we will fine tune it. The system which I am going to use for this purpose is this Ubuntu 22.04 and I have one GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM. Let me start by creating virtual environment with Conda and for this VM and GPU I am very grateful to Mast Compute. If you are looking to rent a GPU on very affordable prices you can find the link to their website with the 50% discount coupon in video's description. Coming back to this model and its fine tuning while it creates this virtual environment let's talk little bit about this model and fine tuning part. So this Quen330 billion is part of the latest generation of Quen language models and we have covered them in around 15 to 16 videos in just last, last one week from every flavor and every variant from every angle possible. This model is really good for reasoning, instruction, following, building intelligent agents and supporting multiple language. It uses a mixture of expert architecture, activating only a small subset of its total 30 billion parameter at a time for fast and efficient processing. I will be talking more about this and unslot, but for now, let's go back and install our all the prerequisites and there are quite a lot of them. And the reason why we need to install them is because we are uh, also installing the unsloth from the source as you can see here. So this is going to take a couple of minutes. While that happens, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are Camel AI. Camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws with applications in data generation, task automation and world simulation. Now, as I said earlier, the tool which I'm going to use for this purpose is this Unsloth, which makes fine tuning these sort of models much faster and requires up to 70% less memory, all without sacrificing accuracy. Fine tuning primarily means taking an existing model and training it further on your own data so that the model learns to give answers or perform tasks that are specific to what you need. Unsloth uses advanced optimization and works on a variety of GPUs, even older ones, and supports various quantization techniques. You can run these massive models right on your own machines. I already have covered Unsloth on a lot of videos. Uh, I have been covering this tool since its inception. I also have the interview of its founder if you are interested. I just did a a coffee chat with him so if you're interested just search it on the channel and you should be able to find it quite easily okay so let's wait for this to get complete its installation and i will launch my jupyter notebook and now let me launch my jupyter notebook okay so for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to go with this 14 billion one from Unsloth, but you can select any model from their Hugging Face repo, including mixture of experts and the other reasoning models in the smaller or larger sizes. And there is a huge variety available, which they have um, quantized and have also used the dynamic stuff on their own models. So let me download this model. And the model is being downloaded there are just three shards of it and this is um, why the uh, their models consume less memory as they are using some um, new concept called as unsloth dynamic methodology that delivers the best performance on five short mmlu and kl divergence benchmarks and they have a you know huge section on that dynamic uh, two which you can easily read through Anyway, let's wait for this to get downloaded. And the model is downloaded. Okay, so now let's 
uh, prepare the model for fine tuning now in order to do the fine tuning what i'm going to do i'm going to use parameter efficient fine tuning or peft which is a way to update only specific small parts of a model rather than all of its weights that saves memory and computation and this is how we do that also we are going to use lora as a peft technique that injects small trainable adapter modules into certain layers as you can see here these are the layers that allows efficient fine tuning without touching the main model weights now if you look here all we are doing we are using this peft model which i just explained this is a model which we have defined above and then we are setting this r to 32 this sets a LoRa rank which in a higher value means that the adapter module can learn more complex changes but will use more VRAM. So normally the common values are from 8 to 64 and 32 is more than often sufficient. These are the target modules and they are defining which layers in the model will be fine tuned with LoRa. These are mostly attention and MLP layers which are critical for updating model behavior with fewer parameters and I have done separate videos explaining these layers. Then we are defining LoRa Alpha. So this scales update from the LoRa adapters. This is usually set to the same value as R as you can see here or sometimes even double but I have seen this and this should be same. This helps control how much the adapter influences the model. Then we have LoRa dropout which is 0. Now this dropout probability for the LoRa adapter helps prevent overfitting but for the best speed and most rep reproducible mm -hmm. results 0 is recommended. Overfitting means that model doesn't cram things it just learns. Then bias is none so this means that whether or not to add any trainable bias parameters none saves memory and makes it faster and then we are specifying this gradient checkpointing to save gpu memory at cost of a little extra computation and they have just customized it to this unslot and this is for long text sequences and then we are setting the seed here for random number generation so that the training process is reproducible and results can be replicated we are not using any rack stabilized LoRa or RS LoRa and RS LoRa dynamically adjust adapter complexity for stable training but we are not using it we are also not using any uh, of the additional quantization using loft EQ so you can ignore these values so hopefully this was helpful so let me run this and that is done so our model is done if you remember for fine tuning we need two things a model to fine tune and a data set on which the model is to be fine tuned so model part is done let's go with the data set if you have watched my coin coverage you might know that this coin family comes in two modes reasoning and non-reasoning and we can very easily enable disable it and we saw it that is why uh, you can grab your data set both as a reasoning one or non-reasoning one in this example which is on the unsloth repo too and i will drop the link to all of these commands from unsloth repo which you can directly do you can use either reasoning or non-reasoning one so i'm just going to just uh, load these ones so these are going to be loaded and they are splitting into training and chain of thought here and normally these data sets are in parquet format data set is now loaded next up we need to customize this data set into conversational format so we are just defining this uh, conversation function here this is going to do some python simple mapping and of course if you are using your own data set you can just change this function or customize it as per your own use case so data set formatting is done and then specific to this data set and unsloth what they have done in their um, a notebook is that they have uh, tried to sort of uh, i would say massage the data set because the reasoning data set was a bit longer and they just wanted to retain some of the reasoning capabilities but they also wanted a chat model and not just a reasoning model with chain of thought so that is why they just defined this chat percentage that okay the goal is to define some mixture of both of the data set and from there they 
selected 25 percent reasoning and 75 percent chat did some python um, mapping with the pandas and created some data frame and then they created this combined data set so let's run this this is just uh, as per your own data set you don't have to do it if you don't want to if you already have your data set ready okay so this uh, completes our data set too so model is done data set is done now it is time for fine tuning and hugging face offers this trl library which we are importing for the fine tuning or training then we are defining our trainer or fine tuner and then we are kicking off this training so let me start it or kick it off and then i will explain what exactly is meant by these parameters okay so the pre-work on the training is now being done while that happens let's try to understand what exactly is meant by these things so as i said we are setting up this supervised fine tuning trainer from the trl a library or transformer reinforcement learning library which simplifies training language models on custom data set with very very user-friendly command first we are importing that the trainer and configuration class from this sft from the trl as you can see in the first line and then you see this is where we are defining our model our tokenizer our training and evaluation uh, or validity data set we already have defined them above quite modular and these are the arguments on which we want to pass our sft training now what is happening here is that we are first setting that this data set text field this specifies a field name in your data set where input text lives and of course it will be different as per your own use case then we are defining these number of uh, samples processed together in each step per gpu so these are just two then we are setting this gradient which accumulates gradients over multiple steps before updating model weights and this lets you effectively train with a larger virtual batch size even on limited hardware then the warm-up steps are just five that gradually increases learning rate at the start of the training for a few steps to improve stability maximum steps are just 30 that sets how many steps of optimization to run you can even go with the box but uh, and that would run for a full pass through the data set but for the purpose of this demo i'm just going with the um, steps if you are doing it in real world i would highly recommend go with the epochs and then we are uh, controlling how much the model weights are updated with each step with learning rate learn, uh, each batch and then um, we can start higher for quick test lower for longer bigger data set this is setting the logging that how often to log training matrices like loss every one step is for detailed logging and i will show it to you shortly there optimizer used for training is adamw 8-bit it's a memory efficient variant of adamw so quite an efficient and optimal one weight decay is this which is a regularization to prevent overfitting and it slightly penalizes larger weights okay so weight decay is this which specifies how the learning rate changes during training linear um, here means that it decreases steadily after a warm-up nice okay and then you know there are some seed for the random values and then we are not reporting or logging to when db or any other instrumentation software for tracking so let's go down to see what is happening with our training or fine tuning so you see it is working on it and then gradually the training loss will start coming down as the training progresses and you can also see that it is showing you a bit of an eta this is going to vary as it progresses and you see that there are just 30 steps for now we just want to make it quick so i will just wait for it to finish and then we will proceed further and while it trains let's also check the vram consumption it is consuming just over 14 gig of vram and fine tuning is done so if you check at this training loss it is coming down quite considerably as we have progressed through the steps and if you want to use your new fine tuned model all you need to do is to just run this it is using a standard coin template where we are asking this math question then applying the chat template 
tokenizer is encoding the input model the fine-tuned one is generating the output and from there we are decoding it back and then we will print it so let me run this so it is going to stream the response there you go so it is using the chain of thought in our typical reasoning fashion pretty good i would say there you go so the answer is also quite good by the way now if you want proper thinking mode enabled all you need to do is to again use the same uh, stuff from Quen, where we enable the thinking you can disable it by just putting in the false and then the streamer should just stream the response you see uh, in a typical chain of thought way it is slicing and dicing the question asked and it is understanding it going step by step checking its own answer and then displaying you um, the alternatives and from there it is checking different things so thinking is done and from there it has given us the response i can already tell that it is going into the right direction around quadratic one so absolutely spot on and correct and if you want to save this model for future use to your local system or if you want to push to hugging face you can do this with these commands just give it any name for both model and tokenizer and then in the future you can simply load it again by the load command which i showed above and if you want to upload it to hugging face just put it there make sure you grab your right token from your profile in hugging face which is a free token which you can obtain after logging in so that's it really good stuff by unsloth as i said i will drop the link to this notebook in video's description you can even run it in google colab for free on free gpu but i have just run it local in my jupyter notebook just had to make few changes which i have shown you in the code if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching